In Burlington, Vermont, roll call looks a little different than it used to. I know it was a long night. Often just five officers are on shifts for a city of more than 44,000 after Burlington's leaders cut the police force by nearly 30 percent, essentially imposing a hiring freeze. We had huge numbers of people making real demands about changing policing, saying we don't want police to participate in certain kinds of calls for service, we don't want as many police, all of which had real merit, but none of which was being done with any kind of specificity or, or deliberation. In the wake of George Floyd's murder, the city council voted to divert part of its police budget to social and racial justice programs. But working officers began to leave faster than anticipated, down to just 64 in a short period of time. Many who left felt like the city turned on them. Do they tell you why? They do. What have they said to you? The exit interviews have been pretty clear that it was about a, a lack of support in a political sense and a sense of saying that I this is not how I want to serve anymore. I don't feel valued. Councilor Zariah Hightower felt like reform was overdue. We had all these issues leading up to the pandemic and leading up to the murder of George Floyd. For us, it wasn't just a national problem. It was a problem here at home. Burlington police data shows black drivers have long been disproportionately stopped and then searched. And there were recent controversies over use of force involving black men and people with mental health issues. We're a relatively good department but it's kind of a low bar when you look at policing in America. And I do think that we've got great people in our police department who want to do the right thing, but that's not the same thing as the outcomes. With fewer officers, some routine patrols stopped altogether. They're just not there. Mark Bouchette and his family have owned this home goods store for 35 years. He says the police couldn't respond quickly to disturbances, prioritizing more serious calls. He and his staff felt their absence. They said, we don't feel safe in the evenings. In and that, Burlington, Vermont. In Burlington, Vermont. It's all taken its toll on those who remain. What is the morale right now at the Burlington Police Department? It's in rough shape. I know that what has been expressed to me from officers and even my own frustrations about the job, not being able to police as effectively as we once could. Realizing there was a problem this fall, the city council yes. reversed course and voted to bring yes. back more officers. The resolution carries. We're in a situation that I think nobody wanted us to get to. In other words, there are some unintended consequences. Oh, absolutely. The department hired social workers to handle mental health calls and other community issues. I will never betray my badge. My now, Chief John Murad is working to rebuild his ranks. Ultimately, we don't want to defund. We want to fund. Good policing is expensive. I think that that has ultimately proven to be a grand experiment on a national and local level that's gone awry. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, Burlington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.